Good morning, dear Swissies. My name is Sylvia, and today we go through Nuvenen Pass because one of you asked me to go back to Digino, to the south of Switzerland. So that's what we do today, and I hope you enjoy it. So that was the whole trip to the south of Switzerland, but now we see the way up to Nuvenen. Enjoy! Right now we are in the canton of Vallis, the canton de Valais. And now we have 13 kilometers to Nuvenen. Nuvenen is one of the higher passes and it is closed in the winter so many pass roads. I think the, the south of Switzerland is the only canton from today to tomorrow um, which has good weather. <laughs> so that's why we do a little short trip to Digino because I love Digino and I know that you love Digino too. <laughs> Have such good light. Huh? Oh, it is very windy. Oh, that must be hard now to go up on a bike. 
lieber die als ich tue. snowed up there at Newfoundland because uh, they announced snow for the last night but if it snowed the snow is melting already Ja baby Rasta is with me too He would love to see some snow Ja baby Yeah I know I know He's looking like me, so yes mom, yes mom. I want to have snow. We will see Rasta, we will see. I do not promise. I think all past roads are open now in Switzerland. Also the higher ones, like Nuvnen. Nuvnen is one of the, the higher pass roads. I don't know, he's 2,400 meters above sea level. I'm not sure about this, but I guess so. And it is such a nice pass road to drive. But you can see it, huh? Ah, you see fresh snow on the top of the mountains over there. weather front coming in to Switzerland temperatures right now are about 11 degrees and I am quite sure that we will have maybe 6 degrees at Newfoundland Pass but I will tell you okay so cool that um, that I am able to go on pass roads right now because in winter the only way to go into the south of Switzerland is to take the Gotthard tunnel and I don't like the Gotthard tunnel <laughs> yeah it's way too long and I'm always worrying if, a, if an accident is happening there so you have no no chance to yeah to go away to avoid the accident yeah. oh red light we have to stop why ever ah oh, look at it ah they have the same question <laughs> See over there on the mountain, we have wind energy. In Switzerland, we have a lot of water energy. Yeah, because of the mountains and uh, the the dam dam. We have dams. I don't know. Stadom. Yeah. So we get a lot of energy from there. Yeah, but now we think about getting more 
energy from nature like wind and water and sunshine I was thinking about um, buying in a car which is electric and you know maybe with solar panels on the rooftop but I'm quite sure that they are um, how you say they're creating some very new cars with uh, these kind of energies I, I would love to invest in this I already have a hybrid car which is able to um, move from uh, benzene to uh, electric. That's quite a, a good step, but the next step will be um, yeah, an electric car with maybe some solar or I don't know some sails on the rooftop. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Why not? We will see. Ugh, I'm so tired because I had a kind of migraine today. Yeah, probably working too much again. I know. I know I shouldn't. But you know, I can have a break when I'm dead. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. I need to see the beauty right now, not in, in I don't know, 20 years. And my body is telling me when I have to do a break. Like this morning. I woke up at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. Then I did some office work, you know. And then I already had headache. And then after four hours working, I went to bed again. <laughs> yeah. And slept for one or two other hours. So I do listen to my body. Sometimes a little bit late. But I do. How you call them? Windmills? Yeah. And very strong shotte. I'm so sorry. But I have to let it out. I you call it yawning, yeah? <laughs> there are almost no cars on the road. I'm a little bit surprised, to be honest. But it's maybe because it is half past one in the afternoon. So maybe people are still having their lunch. No. I had breakfast. Yeah, I mostly eat breakfast. And then I eat late lunch or early dinner. <laughs> something in between yeah still some snow left here huh? on this altitude yeah fresh snow over there But it wasn't that much. Some people were asking me if 
there is still snow on the higher peaks in summer when they come for holidays here. Yeah, the problem is it could snow, you know, like yesterday. So normally then it's snowing on sometimes 2,000, 2,500 meters or higher. But the air is that warm that the snow is melting immediately again. So like I was once at uh, Fru Alp in Zermatt on 2,800 meters above sea level. And then um, it snowed 20 centimeters overnight. And uh, in the next morning we woke up with 20 centimeters of uh, fresh new snow. But it was melting in between two or three hours. The navigation girl is talking to me. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I, I just um, put on the navigation to make sure that there is no uh, stop and go or accident on the road where I want to go. But uh, yeah, I, I knew this, this road trip. I know where to go. We are almost on top, then we do a little break. tires on my car I changed them last week but I always have my snow chains in the car because you never know in the Swiss Alps it is never a bad idea to have some snow chains in the car well they won't work if you don't know how to put on the snow chains <laughs> yeah so it's good to know how to put on snow chains on a car. So, you can already see the top of Nuvnen Pass. Here we are. The altitude is 2,477 meters above the sea level. I wasn't that bad, huh? Yeah. So we do a break now. Why, wow, it's really cold and windy. We have seven Nach degrees. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I stop her. I stop her. So. Okay, yeah, seven degrees, very, very cold, and a very, very strong wind, grizzly grusig, we call it grizzly grusig, yeah. We are going down and then we are already in the canton di Cino. that it will be much warmer in the south of Switzerland. 
뭐? 야, yeah, when people are asking me what they have to wear in Switzerland in summer, what kind of clothes? Then I say, well, it depends where you want to go. Because when you want to go up on a mountain, you need winter jackets. Yeah. And pullovers and something, maybe some gloves or, yeah. But when you want to stay uh, in the valleys or at the lakes, like Lake Zurich or Lake Geneva or yeah, just in the flatlands, so then you can just wear your bikini. <laughs> yeah. So it depends what you want to do in Switzerland. this altitude there is still mountain spring or even not mountain spring ready because it's uh, too high but soon in about one month I guess on this area there are also cows and goats and yeah but first the grass must grow a little bit. Red, red light, come close to me. Or, I don't know, I forgot the text. <laughs> I know it's red wine, but I thought it's funny. I am so sorry. But yeah. So come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Ah, it's raining. Ah. Okay. At least it is not snowing. It's raining over there too. So maybe you ask if we have also um, thunderstorm season in Switzerland. Yes, we have. It is mostly uh, months July and August where it is uh, when it is very hot then we also have thunderstorms not like in America or Asia but just thunder and lightning no hurricanes yet don't know what 
what is coming in the future, right? Better we don't know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better we don't know everything. Sorry for the rain, but I think it, it stopped soon. weather today it's always a little bit weird when the Sun is shining but it is raining <laughs> huh? I call that rainbow weather biker an idea where I need to go in one of my next trips just write it in a comment okay I, I read the comments and I try to um, reply and uh, yeah if it is possible I will do it okay prepare the fences for the animals coming soon huh? on this area it is a lower altitude so the cows they will come earlier here from CCR huh? Who stopped the rain? Anyone knowing CCR? <laughs> yeah, it's um, I think it's sound of the 70s or 60s Yeah, I think 60s Yeah, it was a great band CCR The Cretans Clearwater Revival You should listen to it there were so many good bands in the early years. When I was a DJ, I mostly played old songs. It started from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. 
and then I stopped working as a DJ. <laughs> yeah. I always try to do what I love to do. And right now, it is what I'm doing right now. Showing the beauty of nature of Switzerland to the world. Yeah. It's a very cool work. stopping around all, all already almost <laughs> yeah. in autumn you see these are larches and in autumn they are all golden yeah very nice in autumn it is mostly at the end of September beginning of October then the larches become yellow Larches are not growing everywhere. Most of them are in the Canton uh, valleys. Some of them are here. And um, Canton Grabinden or Engadin, they have a lot of larches. Yeah. So that's why in autumn there are so many people in Engadin. Yeah, capturing the the beautiful golden colors of autumn. So that was Osasco. Osasco. Or is it the next village? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we are already in Canton di Gino. Maybe ask what, what is about my uh, um, learning Italian. Yeah, it's going bad because I don't have time to learn. I'm always working with my hundred channels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. I need to, to earn money somehow, you know? But it's still on my list, learning Italian. Yeah. Well, it's not the problem that I need to earn money. The problem is that you know, when, when there are nice days, I, I can't stay at home. And even if I stay at home, there's beauty there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult to, to, to stop working or stop capturing all the beauty. It's a luxury problem, I know. It's really a luxury problem. sure that we have 20 degrees at least in uh, Valle Verzasca where we go. Oh look the cows are already here. Yeah first altitude where they can stay. And then they go up meter by meter. all the fresh grass and the alpine herbs mmm yeah they have a good life here oh that's a nice village over there what, what is the name of this village I I forgot to see to check to watch I don't know 
maybe you'll find it out. I'm almost alone on, of this road, on this road. Huh? I. Uh, It's like during Corona times, I was the only one on the roads. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I told you this once. I asked the government during Corona time because they said we had to stay at home. And then I asked the government, said, um, uh, listen, I have a question because this is my work to go out uh, into nature show it to the people and to the world so I ask if, if this is not allowed anymore because of stay at home and then they wrote me back a mail they said no it's okay when you don't meet any person two meters distance <laughs> it's okay so that's why I had the whole Bernays Oberland for myself that was cool that was the cool thing on Corona. So we are, ah, this is the village. Yeah. This is now the village Osasco. Pedretto. We are in the valley Pedretto. This is the whole area. Pedretto. Very nice. Achtung, bumpy. Bumpy. Okay. Oh, what a nice tree over there. You see the one? The yellow one? Wow. So nice. Ah, oh, two, two of them. Cool. Yeah, Pedretto. The next village is Airolo, and then I stop recording because I wanted to show you the Newfoundland bus. Huh? And for the trip in uh, Valle Verzasca, I upload another video because otherwise it would be too long huh, for you to watch. Agree? Anyway, impressed how long people are watching my videos because you know on Instagram it's just our oh, video <laughs> swipe up <laughs> three seconds of watching us oh, swipe up and uh, I like the idea of YouTube that the people are more interested in, in the content I, I do Another audience, I think. Oh, these are funny, funny houses. Huh? Yeah. Well, it's still windy. Look at the trees. through the car ah uh, maybe we have some fern huh that's why I have some headache yeah that could be the explanation so it's not that I work too hard <laughs> it's the weather blame it on the weatherman I 
I love the game of the light and the shadow. It is always so special. So we now soon arrive at Airolo, where the Gotthard Tunnel is coming out, and where the pass road of Gotthard is coming down. And we came now from the side of Nuven and Pass. So you have more than one possibility to go from the north of Switzerland to the south of Switzerland. But as I told you before, these possibilities are only in summer. Stop recording now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, pass road trip to Newfoundland. And uh, the next video will be about uh, Vale Verzasca. watching thanks for your patience that you watched such a long time and uh, I thought I was on the wrong way <laughs> no I'm not I'm legally here yeah yeah thanks for watching and um, we see you we see you soon in about one or two days ciao ciao